Alrighty, so here we go. Now, for those of y'all that don't know, I got this from a buddy of mine. And he's trying to get him a YouTube channel going. His name's Clint Alry. And I say YouTube channel, he's more or less working on Facebook right now. But more than likely, you're going to see him commenting down there. So if not, I'll leave a little link to his channel. So you can go subscribe to him, even though I don't think he's got nothing on there. And he's got a Facebook page, so go check him out. Uh, and if you want to see some knives I give some people, go check out McGee Home Set Adventure. So anyways, first thing first, I'm actually going to do... A, I'll show you what this step's about later. I'm just going to grab that tail, give it a pinch and a twist. That's boneless. There's a rabbit tail. Y'all see what that's about later. So anyways, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to come right here, and right at the back of this leg, you're going to feel where the elbow is at. And you're going to feel where it's hard, and you're going to feel where it's soft right behind it. So what I'm going to do is just going to cut it one time like it. Reach over here, do the same thing, just one time like it. And in case you're wondering how sharp that knife is, pretty, pretty sharp. <laughs> I like a sharp knife. So anyways, making my cuts there. I'm going to bend this head back, same thing, one cut across, just like so. Now this is where it gets kind of neat. And notice I keep cleaning my blade off. If you get hair on that blade, you're going to transfer hair to, to meat, and that's not a good thing. Try to minimize that if you can. But when I get back here, you're going to feel a little Achilles tendon coming right up the back here. So, once again, you feel the heel where it's hard, and then right over on the other side it gets uh, soft again. You can feel that tendon coming up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hug the bone in between this tendon and the meat, and I'm going to go down until I hit meat, and I'm going to come out like that. So I've taken off a good chunk of that tendon with it. I'm going to roll it over. You're going to feel two joints in this leg. You're going to feel the lower joint and the upper joint. Hit that upper joint one time. Just touch the back of your knife and roll it over. When you do that, that bone comes out clean. Hopefully y'all can see that. And most of the tendon comes out with the foot. Then you can just go ahead and get rid of that. We don't want that. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Once again, keeping that blade clean. So we're going to roll over here, go behind that tendon, come out of the meat, find that back joint, roll it over. Just like it. Two clean bones, not a whole lot of tendon on there. That tendon can get tough. Nobody wants to eat that no how. Now we've already run these front legs. Notice I made all my cuts while I had the knife in my hand. This saves time. Make all your cuts, lay it down, do all your popping, come back and cut everything off in. Same thing, you want to bend it over, exposing that joint, give it a twist if you have to. Same thing with the head. Head will usually come right off. Now there's usually tendons holding this together, so you got to come back and doctor it up some more. Just using the back of my knife as much as I can. Now you could have a little bit of meat on them shanks, but it ain't much, I'll be honest with you. So I, I generally don't fool with them. That's just me, y'all may, may do something different. There we go. Now, another crucial part. Just put it in a bucket of water. This keeps all the the hair sticking to the skin and sticking to each other and less hair sticking onto the meat. You'll probably also notice this rabbit is already field dressed. Um, and that's what you're supposed to do. As soon as you kill a rabbit, get the guts out of it. Because you're not gutting them for the heck of it. You're gutting them to, for the meat purposes. Gutting is... I mean, if you're not keeping the meat, why even gut them to start with, right? So, if it's for the meat purposes, it is better for the meat to go ahead and get it out ASAP. So, for all you guys that uh, go wait till the end of the day and gut them at the truck, um, y'all are morons. Now, I mean it in a good Christian way, but... Y'all are morons. So, now, let's get on with the cleaning. Now, as I was saying, now we got the rabbit here. Now, this is going to look pretty straightforward. If you get any hair on your hands, immediately stop. A quick splash in the water, and your hands are clean again. This is what you're looking for. And come right here, and out. Clean my knife off. 
that water is key i can't say that enough keep using the water now from this point on it cannot touch the ground again or cannot touch the tailgate again give him a pull every time like i said every time his hand touches hair i clean that hand off keep the hair off the meat i cannot say that enough that's how you get them clean If you look close, there's not a hair on that rabbit. And that's what you're looking for. The only hair that might be on there was from the field dressing, which there's leaves and other stuff, which the guy toting it, he, uh, he got it in a lot of leaves and stuff. But that's on him, not on me. So, you know who you are, Adam. But anyways, <laughs> that had nothing to do with the cleaning side. That had to do with just toting it around a bad way out in the woods. But other than that, I mean, there's not a hair on that rabbit. Even in the front here, where we run the legs with the hair on, there's absolutely no hair on this rabbit. That's how you clean an animal. How to actually clean a rabbit or whatever. So anyways, hopefully y'all learned something about that. And there's a little bit of hair where the shot came in. I want to point that out. See, it's pulling out of that little bullet wound in there. Okay, with the exception of that, there's no hair on this rabbit. So... Quit getting nasty rabbits, especially if you clean them and give them to people. You're just going to give them a bad taste. You're going to give them a bad reputation for the sport. So it don't matter if it's for you or somebody else. Clean them right and do a good job of it. But either way, hopefully y'all learned something on that. And we'll see you on the next video. Start cleaning your rabbits right.